Typically and historically, ginseng has been sold as a dried root, and it is dried um, to the point where it weighs about one-third to maybe one-fourth of what it weighed when it was freshly harvested. So if you harvest, let's say, three pounds of fresh ginseng root, by the time that root is, is properly dried, it will weigh perhaps one pound. And you have to be careful drying ginseng root, too, because you don't want to cook the root. You don't want to bake it. Ginseng is almost always slowly air dried at temperatures that never exceed 90 to 95 degrees. And it takes usually about two weeks to dry ginseng roots properly under those types of conditions with good air circulation. You can very quickly ruin ginseng by uh, drying it in an oven or something like that. Even a dehydrator, a food dehydrator that has temperatures that are over, let's say, 90 or 95 degrees can very quickly ruin uh, ginseng by over drying it. And generally, it's between 3 and 3.5 to 1, the ratio of freshly harvested root to dried root. Um, ginseng roots that are dried are very, very brittle. If they're properly harvested, they have a lot of very fine root hairs which break off. Uh, typically, those everything is saved, nothing is wasted. Typically, those broken root hairs are ground up into powder, and that powder is made into teas. Quite often, it's packaged in tea bags. Um, in some cases, it's put into capsules for people like myself that don't like to chew on bitter-tasting roots. Um, traditionally, though, ginseng roots are put in ceramic vessels and simmered for a long period of time, made into a tea, and then that beverage is consumed. That's the more typical, traditional Chinese way that ginseng would be consumed. Um, you might wonder why there's no ginseng teas that's made from the ginseng leaves. And the reason for that is because of the amount of pesticides that are applied on a routine basis. So um, any product that is sold for human consumption has to have tolerances established for pesticides. And ginseng leaves that are coming from commercially grown ginseng are going to have lots of pesticides on them and probably not be suitable for teas. It's, it's often been wondered whether ginseng leaves have the same health properties as ginseng roots. And if you believe that the active ingredients in ginseng are these class of compounds called ginsenosides, well, it turns out that the leaves do have significant quantities of these uh, active ingredients called ginsenosides. So ginseng leaves indeed do contain many of the same constituents that are found in the root. The concentrations and the ratios and the percentages of these various types of ginsenosides may vary, but indeed the leaves do contain the same good stuff that we think is what gives ginseng root its activity.